Alright, so what's going on guys? My name's Chopper and welcome back everybody to a brand new video on the channel. Today what we're going to be discussing is the top 5 heroes that I would like to see happen in the next upcoming DLC for Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys that we're getting 5 new heroes in the next DLC. However, this is going to be a list of my personal favorites that I would like to see if they did pull from this list uh, when they do add new ones to return. This is what I would personally want to see. Now, just before we get started guys, as always, if this video is something that you end up enjoying, be sure that you do leave a like rating on it. It does help me out a lot if you are new around here don't forget to subscribe to stick around for these kind of videos plenty of live streams we've actually been having a lot of fun on the streams recently so you should definitely come there and be a part of them they're a good time and uh also, a quick side note, if I sound a little different in this video, it's because I'm still trying to get over a cold. I'm a little bit uh, congested up still, so I might, my voice might sound a little different, but it'll be back to normal very soon. So coming in at the number five spot on this list, I'm giving this one to Count Dooku. Now, I've talked about Count Dooku in the past when it comes to uh, heroes that I want to see eventually in this game, but I feel like it would make sense in the next DLC if they are going to do Clone Wars. I know there's a big controversy about that because of the uh, Han Solo movie that's coming out, so a lot of people don't think it's going to be Clone Wars, but just say in a perfect world that it is i would love to see count dooku like that would be a given as one of the dark side here i feel like a lot of you guys would agree with me on this one because count dooku could have such a unique and sweet move set if they did it right like you know what i mean he could have a little bit of his own kind of force lightning power and also since he's basically a master swordsman he could have a huge incredible amount of stamina when it comes to like striking with a saber or blocking he could end up being super fun to play as because I know so many people would run him strictly to use that curved hilted lightsaber and I know I would most definitely. It'd be nice to get some more Clone Wars heroes in this game and uh, I, that's definitely one of them on my list but the reason why he's coming at the number 5 spot is because he's he's definitely a priority but he's not my biggest priority or the, the no, number 1 hero that I want to see happen in this game overall. Those are coming up a little bit later but now going on to our number 4 spot. This is going to be none other than Obi-Wan Kenobi and I feel like a lot of you guys is probably going to put Obi-Wan at your number one spot and that is perfectly fine because Obi-Wan's a great hero I would love to see him in this game alongside Count Dooku you know what I mean I could end up seeing them in like the same pack or if they release it with the same DLC season I feel like Obi-Wan and Dooku would have to go to their respective sides but be within that same season as far as his moveset would go, I could see it being very similar to like a cross between Luke Skywalker, Count Dooku, and Rey. So like he would have a maybe sort of mind trick ability, he could have a force push and be a very like defensive saber hero when it comes to his stamina, he has a lot of it, it's hard to take him down in a one-on-one -on -one saber battle, it would just make sense that way. And I feel like he'd be balanced if that was the case as well. And with Obi-Wan in particular, there'd be so many opportunities for cool cosmetics and like emotes in this game, you could have the classic hello there emote, so many different cosmetic items when it comes to Obi-Wan and I feel like this is kind of off on a tangent but a, a particular reason why I don't think we've had any new DLC heroes so far in Star Wars Battlefront 2 is because since the new progression system we know that we're getting cosmetics later on next month maybe they're saving all of their heroes for when the cosmetics are available you know what I mean that would only make sense because people are going to end up spending a lot of money to you know pimp out their their favorite hero I can guarantee you that much. Now, coming in at the number three spot, I'm giving this one to Jango Fett. Now, I, I, I think this one you guys might disagree on. Some of you will be with me, but some people think that Jango Fett is going to play too similarly to Boba Fett. I would disagree with that. I would make the argument that a lot of Saber heroes would probably play the same in theory. You know what I mean? There wouldn't be that much of a difference between, say, Luke Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi, at least in relative practice. But I think Jango Fett is much different when you actually compare Boba Fett in-game and the things that they could do differently. The easiest to see and most notable one is Django has different blasters than Boba Fett and I personally think that Django's are way cooler as well and the sound is incredible I know a lot of people would only run it just for the sound I think Django Fett's a good call as far as his moveset goes I don't really know how you would make that different to Boba Fett but still make it balanced that's kind of hard imagine having a Boba Fett and a Django Fett on the same team that would be a little bit unfair uh, it, it, it could end up being unbalanced in some ways but if you have any ideas for Django Fett's moveset let me know down below in the comment section but now, coming in at the number two spot, I'm saying the word, guys, is going to be General Grievous. Now, the reason why I was hesitant to bring this one up is because I made a video a, a few months ago, and so many people got triggered about it. I was ex explaining why there is some evidence as to suggest that General Grievous is going to be in the game, which I still hold to that fact to this day. I do believe General Grievous will be at some point during the life cycle of Battlefront 2. But you guys in the comments, y'all need to chill. 
It seems like when I talk about General Grievous in particular, it's like people take it that I insulted their family. I don't know what it is, but people get so butthurt about that. But I still, to this day, am believing that General Grievous will appear in Star Wars Battlefront 2's game in some point, some point during this life cycle. Mark my word. As far as his moveset goes, I guess already it's been data mined and we know what he can do, but uh, I'm not going to actually read them off here because, like I said, I don't know if they're true I, for 100% sure. They are subject to change. I just don't really want to put them on this video, but if you'd like to know the leaked moveset, then uh, I'm sure you can use your Googling skills and those will help you out a little bit. As you can easily tell, I'm a big Clone Wars fan when it comes to this list, and coming in at my number one spot is going to keep that trend. It's going to be no different. The number one hero that I, that I would like to see come to Star Wars Battlefront 2 in the next DLC or some kind of future DLC. DLC is going to be Anakin Skywalker. I've talked about this so much in the past on live streams and in different videos. People ask me all the time if I could pick one hero that would be added to this game. This would be it. Anakin is my favorite character in Star Wars period and he would be such a nice addition to this. There's a mod that already exists where you can play as Anakin, and it's actually really, really well done. So I suggest if you have a PC and, and have the capability to play it, definitely go and check it out. But it's not ha like having an actual DICE developed Anakin, and that would be insane to have in Battlefront. When it comes to his abilities, I don't really care force-wise, like what it's going to be. It could be a force push, pull, what, what have you. You guys can let me know some of your ideas for Anakin if you want to have a specific move set on him. Definitely let me know. All I'm really concerned about is that he should probably be the best hero in regards to actual lightsaber combat. You know what I mean? As long as, as, long as Anakin is overall the best on one-on-one -on -one saber combat with another different hero or villain, it would make sense balance-wise, and I feel like that would be the way to do it. His force powers might have to be a little undercut just to make room and to make the game fair if you're running Anakin, but I don't know. I, I could see him being a really, really crazy hero to use, and a lot of people will agree with me that they would like to see him in this game, and I just realized that pretty much all of these heroes are just Clone Wars one guys, you know? Dice, just listen up. We want Clone Wars, okay? I, I, I think I can speak for the vast majority of players. Hopefully, we get this kind of stuff soon, guys, but I want you guys to let me know in the comments what are the top five heroes that you would pick to have in this game, or maybe not even top five. If you could only pick one, I'll give that question to you guys. If you could only pick one hero over all ever to have added to this game let's just say dice is only gonna go for one what would it be but anyways guys i think we can go ahead and wrap the video up here if you ended up enjoying it then be sure you do leave a thumbs up it helps me out greatly subscribe if you are new around here and uh, want to see more content just like this i'll have plenty more videos just like this one plenty of live streams all that kind of stuff i'll keep you guys updated on anything battlefront 2 make sure to stick around here and uh, other than that guys hope you have a fantastic rest of your day or night wherever you are and i'll see you all on the next live stream or the next video peace out